Hey everyone, this is MC Barber. Today I have a kid's haircut for you here. I will be going into a what I call a salon grade haircut. It's a simple haircut. I won't be doing any, any extreme fading here. I'm going with one and a half. Uh, basically, I'm doing one and a half with a full hook. Uh, it's a very simple and quick haircut that you can do, uh, but the result is very nice. So here I'm using one and a half. I'm removing the bulk of the hair. It's a very simple step. I'm removing the bulk and setting foundation for my fade. I mean for my haircut. I usually this takes me about a minute and a half to two minutes. I love using heavy duty clippers. Uh, they cut clean, they cut fast, uh, they remove hair evenly, they don't leave any lines. Uh, when you use uh, the white teeth, the plastic combs, sometimes they, they leave lines. Uh, these do not leave any lines across and it's a very fast and, and quick way to remove the bulk. Uh, even though I'm doing just one and a half now I'm doing a taper on the bottom. A lot of times clients say I like one and a half but I want to have a taper on the bottom. So here is a quick way to do a taper. Basically I started with an open guard and I'm using now 1 16 of an inch to blend between one and a half and uh, you know no no blade no guard on my blade sometimes they call this blowout it depends in the barber shop or place they would say blowout other other places say low taper uh, or sometimes the client will just say I don't want a line on the back So here usually I use, I close my clipper with no guard, start the tapering, use 1 16 of an inch uh, with the open, uh, open blade and start removing the line between one and a half and uh, zero. I do the same thing here, I do the taper on the sideburns. Keep it very low. Now the like the reason I like to use on the end the one and a half that is plastic is because when you're connecting the top with the sides, sometimes the metal guards push the hair to the side. The kind of the hair runs away. So this one actually because of the teeth are so wide. It, you know it kind of catches the hair easier because the hair, is, the hair is not pushed to the side so I just use it for kind of finish this can also be done with scissor over comb but if you want to just do it quickly you can use your fading clipper with one and a half of plastic guard It's a very effective way to blend as well. Now I'm using I'm gonna use scissor and a half and connect my sides to the top. Scissor over comb. One of the most common uh, scissor techniques in the barber shops and in the salons. It is very important that you only move your thumb when you do this technique and try to keep your thumb bent, not really straight. That create if you keep your thumb straight and too far inside the ring of your scissor, you see how I keep it just on the tip of my ring? And I try to keep my my thumb bent so it keeps my hand loose. Uh, if you have your thumb too far in and it stays straight, it creates tension and makes your hand tired very fast and you know down the road you can develop different different problems with your hands such as carpal tunnel and so on and so forth i was doing so many haircuts at one point 
that my hands would start hurting. So I said, forget this, I don't want to go out of commission. So I started training my left hand and eventually I just get to work with my left hand just the way I work with my, with my right hand. Uh, otherwise, I'm just, I'm actually righty, I'm not ambidextrous. But now it comes very handy, you know, when I work with, uh, on one side I, I do my right hand and the other side I do my left hand. I do do a lot of scissor work in my barber shop. I do classes on the scissor techniques, I do about 10 different uh, scissor techniques. Here, because I'm doing kind of messy forehawk, I'm using a traditional technique that is called sculpting with a straight edge razor with no guard. On my razor, it's straight edge. Straight edge. Uh, it is very nice way to create that soft finish, as you will see the end result. I mean, nothing can give you that nice, messy look uh, with a soft finish such as the straight edge razor does. I love straight edge razor. I do also a lot of work with uh, a straight edge. I think between the razor, clippers, and scissors, in my barber shop, they are almost equally divided. Uh, it's not just one or the other. I use scissors quite a lot. I also use razor a lot, and I use clippers a lot. As well, I teach workshops on the scissors, on clippers, on uh, straight edge razor. I also do about eight to ten different techniques with straight edge razor, um, from sculpting, pinning, blending, uh, blunt cutting, notching, point cutting. All these techniques can be actually done with a straight edge razor, just like with scissors or clippers. Here I'm just kind of snip, snipping the ends. And trying to cut the sides slightly shorter than the center. Now this haircut actually comes out beautiful, but it really doesn't take more than 10 to 15 minutes maximum to do this haircut. It doesn't matter how long the hair it is, I would follow exactly the same steps that I just follow right now. One and a half, you know, scissor over comb on the sides to connect the sides and the, and the top. Uh, you know, a little uh, razor work for texture scissor work for a length removal or you can remove the length with a straight edge razor as well with a notching technique. Uh, blow drying the hair to one side then I go back and I blow dry hair to the other side it almost kind of confuses the hair so the hair almost doesn't know which way it wants to go and it also creates the, the volume so uh, it is definitely way easier way to create a messy kind of fog and the front I like to push a little bit to the side. And for product I just use some uh, Layrite Natural Matte Cream. Uh, it really gives you a medium hold, it gives you matte finish. I don't want any shine in this haircut and it gives you really a nice finish. And there it is. Um, your boys uh, forehawk with one and a half on the side tapered back and tapered sideburns now uh, thanks for watching my video i really appreciate it don't forget to subscribe mc barber is my website uh, mcbarber.com uh, the mc barber the mc barber is my instagram mc barber is my facebook page thank you so much for watching my video until next time